you know, that first season's pretty rough, man. It's a really hard job. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know when you're gonna go home. The hardest part of this job is getting past the cold. You have people from all different walks of life doing this. It's an outdoors job and I'm an outdoors person. It's a really cool experience. We live in the desert. I'm looking for individuals who love being in the outdoors, who love working as a team, but also can work independent, can hang with the crew and be able to get along. It's like a big family. There's times when you want to strangle them. There's times when you want to hug them. I've never met a more strange yet hardworking group of individuals. We like to talk about the snow that we make and, and the ways that we can make it better. People ask me, oh, what do you do? I get to tell them wild stories. It might not be love, but it is a bond. Mountain High's geographical location is an enormous test for our snowmakers. Southern California is usually not associated with snowy winters. In fact, pine needle skiing was actually a thing in Southern California before snowmaking came along. People would do anything to get on the mountain. The resorts that now make up Mountain High began experimenting in the mid 1950s and by the early 1960s, functioning snowmaking systems were installed. You look that way, you got the beach. That way, Mexico. That way, the desert. We get that dry Santa Ana wind that really helps us with 0% humidity. And you'll start lighting up a trail. You'll turn on this fan gun, the next gun, the next gun, and next thing you know it, you have just about every gun on that trail going. It's a really beautiful sight to see the whole mountain running and see this dry desert with clear skies and then see this fog coming up from the ground. That's us, we're the fog from the ground make some killer snow in Southern California. It's really cool to watch the air and the water mix coming out of the guns to make a plume. The first time you walk into the plume, you don't know what to do. It's kind of like you're in a little mini blizzard. Almost magical, dare I say. You see the run turn from brown to white. It could be 30 degrees and then all of a sudden it'll drop down to 24 and there's our window and then it'll jump right back up to 34 degrees and we lost our window. If it's too dry, it'll pretty much just blow away. Too wet, it'll turn to ice and definitely don't want that. You get to ride snowmobiles, go in snowcats. When you're walking down a mountain at 1230 at night, just you and your headlamp, the sky just gets so clear and you can literally see the Milky Way. It's quite magical, you know, zen. I tried working in the city and I realized I'm just a mountain man. I gotta, I gotta work in the mountains. I like snowboarding. Being able to make what, what I ride on is actually a really rewarding experience. It always got first turns in the morning if you're a nighttime snowmaker. If there wasn't for our teamwork and our camaraderie, this mountain wouldn't open. The best of all, you get to make all the snow for people to ride on and enjoy. When you are the one who made the, the entire ski run, it's, I did that. It's really cool. <laughs>